Yo, what's good, everybody? This is your host, Omega Heart. Yeah, you heard it correct. Omega like Kenny, heart like Brent, still killing the game without breaking a sweat. And you are now listening to the Black Girls Wrestle Podcast. Now, somebody hit my theme music. Black girl, you 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 black
Couldn't find anything. Uh, the only thing I found was a Facebook page that said pro wrestling birthday parties. So I messaged the guy on there and I ended up being Logan Creed. Okay. And he was telling me that um, I asked him about training. I said, do you guys train or do you know anywhere I can train? And uh, he called me. He told me about Luke Gallo's school um, because it was between that and WWA4 at okay. the time which was actually in atlanta but i ended up going to that school starting off and i started off managing and uh i, I kind of wish i honestly would have like went to wwa for it, even if i did go to both a little bit mm-hmm. i actually have visited there now and it was oh, okay. pretty cool but uh yeah. yeah i started off there it was uh in jackson georgia i don't even know if it's still a school anymore but um I started off there. Just the momentum was very slow for me. So I I thought Florida, I thought Orlando had it all um, at the time. Right, right. So uh, that's why I made the decision to move here. And it was a good decision in the long run just because uh, the, the momentum did get better here. Like I got more exposure. I had more people who were trying to help me. Versus in Georgia, it was a little all over the place, and it just wasn't moving in the pace I needed it to. What's your favorite movie of all time? Oh, my goodness. My favorite movie of all time. I want to say the James Brown movie with Chadwick Boseman, Uh, Get On Up. up. That is like... I. I can watch that movie over and over. I have a few different favorite movies, but I will say that's one of my top ones when I need motivation. Like, mm-hmm. I'm really inspired by James Brown. That's one of my biggest uh, inspirations. And Tupac, too, but the movie was not. Trash. His movie, yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> <laughs> All right. So since we're on movies, if they made a movie about you, what would it be called and who would play you? Um, <laughs> I will say... I would like it to say something with dream in it. Um, I may be the evolution of dreams or of Kaya. Dream. I don't know. Something along the lines of that. Because I feel like my life already in my 22 years of living, there has just been so many. Like, I could already make a whole book or movie right now. Um, but it's just too early. But... Um, <laughs> Who could play me? I don't know. I don't really know any actor, actress who who looks like me. Uh, maybe Symphonique. I think that's like okay. the closest person I can think yes. of the, off the top of my head. Who's your favorite singer and rapper right now? Singer, I'll definitely say Beyonce because not only just her music but just the way she carries herself I look up to her a lot her class mm-hmm. her elegance her inspiration and like just her creativity rapper I love me some Kevin Gates oh man okay. I love you know- Gates and <laughs> NBA too but Gates he really the truth I feel um, and Lotto I mean if we gotta do women too but Big Lotto. Yeah. Big Lotto. Big energy. Who inspired you most in life? My mom. My mom is my best friend. She, uh, I feel like we grew up together. She had me at 20. My mom and my grandma, but my mom, she's just always, like, spoke life into me. Like, when other people, even, like, the closest people to me weren't don't believe in me or, like, try to talk down to me like my mom she never she's always supported me she's always been there almost every show she's there she moved down here with me like on a whim like my mom i i owe her everything like, i can't wait to make it for her who's your celebrity crush mm, you know i really have celebrity crushes because i truly believe that i can have any man i want and even if okay. it's not right now eventually but who's somebody I really like? Rock with. Uh, you said Rock Wave? No, not Rock Wave. Oh. I said somebody I really rock with. <laughs> I don't oh, know. Hey, the I, each do, is like, the each I is do like his music. I love Rock Wave. Hey, Big boys need love too, though. I don't. 
They do, but nah, dog. <laughs> um, I mean, I want like Idris Elba. Off, uh, I don't, I don't think I said that right, but. Who is an actor? Some Michael B. Jordan. Everybody say that though. Oh, Jason Momoa. Like I don't know. I really don't get too caught up into that because I feel like I'm a celebrity. So, what's the hardest lesson you ever learned in life? I'll say learning to believe in myself even when the closest people to me don't, or learn, or learning that. My way is my intuition, and I need to follow what I say over anyone else because um, I've had family, I've been in relationships, I've had friends that have doubted me, or they've just, you know, they don't say it necessarily straight up like, I don't believe in you, but it's like you come with them with an idea and you're so excited about it, and you're like, oh, I want to do this. And they, like, not as excited or they don't get the same energy or they're like, oh, why you want to do that? Right. Um, you know, knowing that people are not you. Like, just because you're a good person and you give this energy doesn't mean everybody's going to give it back. And I think that was always hard for me because it's, like, it's hard for me to see sometimes, like, dang, like, why would they do me like that when I, I didn't do them like that? It's like people that I really care so much about or, you know, family even that I really love. It's like I put so much into their opinion and how they feel. They'll do you dirty, like, and you can't you can't let that slow you down. You can't listen to it. Just got to keep it moving. All right, next question. What's your astrological sign and do you think it fits you? I'm a Leo, the lion, Leo. the best. Yes, yeah. it fits me because I do everything big. When I walk in the room, you going to hear me roar. You're going to turn your head. It fits me in every, I'm every, like, detail of what a Leo is. Like, I have a lion on my arm. On my left arm, I have a lion. If you could travel anywhere in the world, all expenses paid, where would you go? Um, I want to go to Kenya. There are so many places I want to go. I've been a lot of places, too, but I think. Uh, Senegal because and I say Ooh. Senegal Africa because I've been to Ivory Coast I've been to West Africa I stayed out there for a month when I was younger oh, wow. um, with my family and uh, I would like to go to Senegal because there's a place there where you can like go walk with lions like literally like walk with them and mm -hmm. just back to the Leo thing like I'm gonna say you a different kind of Leo yeah I see that Okay. Right, like it's just but you know how amazing that content would be, but not only yeah. that, just going in general. But there are so many places I want to go. I want to go to Japan for mm -hmm. wrestling purposes. Um, I take me anywhere paid for, I will go. I'm out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's say somebody finds you. Mm -hmm. What's the first thing you would buy? Um, definitely an investment property. Okay. Yeah. You know what? That and I really want a King Corso dog. That is like my dream dog, <laughs> but I just do not have the time for a pet right now. But definitely in um probably my own property first to live yeah. in and then an investment property because I'm really big into into, you know, generational wealth, making that right. money work for you where you don't have to actually work. So gotcha. you're in the real estate too, right? Yes, I am a real estate agent, mm -hmm. uh, but I'm, you know, I really got into real estate for the investments that I didn't know you really didn't need a license to be an investor. Um, I've learned a lot about that as well, but uh, yeah, um, I mean, I can sell a house. So if anybody ever wants to buy or sell in Florida, <laughs> let your girl know. So look, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Um, probably to shape shift <laughs> into other anything like any person any animal like mm -hmm. I think that'd be pretty cool who are your top three favorite wrestlers of all time Bianca Belair I just I love her but uh if we want to take it back a notch, I will say I love Dusty Rose. I love Ricky Steamboat. And I love Shawn Michaels. It's so many. Um, yeah. 
Asuka, when she was Kana in Japan, oh, yeah. my God. I, I'm sorry, I know that's like five, but... That's cool. I ain't got, <laughs> <ain't> got. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many. It's so many people to learn from. But yeah, definitely those are in my, my top, I will okay. say. But what's your views on intergender wrestling? Do you see it as just entertainment? Do you think maybe it could send a bad message? Or like, What do you think about it? it's a way to get better as a woman to me personally but to the public eye uh, I think I don't personally care to do it anymore unless I can see it really elevating my career but I haven't had that opportunity yet and I have done them Uh, most of the times I've done them I kind of hate I've done them because mm, you know, it's just a lot of times in wrestling, you know, especially me coming in, like, I didn't know anything about this indie stuff. So a lot of the times in the beginning, not so much anymore, but I was just put in situations where I was 18, 19, mm. till, you know, getting told, like, just do this or do this. And I'm like, okay, like, you know, a little naive. Like, I was, I'm, I'm not stupid now. There was some stuff that was a no, no, no. But at right. the same time, like... You know, a lot of stuff I just wasn't, I just didn't know about. And so, uh, but in my opinion, yeah, I think it can help you get better, especially training wise matches. Mm -hmm. I just, I just don't know. I mean, I don't think it's wrong if you do them, but I do think in a sense that women need to be with women and men need to wrestle men because it can send off a, a bad message to and when I think about, you know, kids and stuff watching, I think it can send off a bad message. But I like you say, I've done it. So, I mean, okay. hell, it is what it is, I guess. So what's your best attributes physically and personality-wise? Physically, I think my face is very beautiful. <laughs> I love Leo myself. I'm very great Leo <laughs> I love everything about me. Like, honestly, there's nothing I would change physically. I think I, you know, and and that's not to say that I knock down other women. Like, I think every woman has something to offer. I've never been, I'm better than you, this, that. No, I just love myself. I genuinely like me. I love me. And but when you love yourself and you like yourself, you don't have problems with other women. Like, you don't, you know, because if you that, you don't have to say you that. I don't, I don't have to compete with nobody. But right. personality, personality-wise, I'm really smart. A lot of people underestimate me because I'm 22, because I'm young. Ever since I was 19, you know, people, oh, you're so young. People even still tell me I'm young. But I'm young. Um, I got my real estate license. All I think about is building Empire and you know mm-hmm. building my brand like this I'm trying to be wealthy like it's it goes past this I'm trying to build an empire for my family like um I read all the time I read every morning I read every night um I'm always trying to be ahead of the game mentally um I think I think that uh that really adds to my personality and I think I'm versatile you know I can chill with anybody you can put me in like you know, the most like low budget hood, like any type of place I right. can buy. You can put me in the highest class place and you know, somewhere where I have to, you know, play a classy role. You can put mm-hmm. me anywhere and I will <laughs> I will fit in. There is no feeling uncomfortable, feeling awkward for me. I can fit in anywhere you put me. Are you a home cooked meal girl or a takeout? I love me some takeout, but I can cook. I can throw down, but I will cook unhealthy because I'm from Georgia. So I'm from the South. So (laughs) what I'm cooking is not going to be healthy, but I do love to be taken out. Like if I'm going on a date or something, I do expect it to be treated and taken out to a nice place. Um, I'm always on a time crunch like every day. So I do eat out. A lot of the times, but I mean, I love to cook as well. It's just uh, time. A lot of you know, that's the main thing. But yeah, I both honestly. Who's some of your best friends in wrestling? Uh, culture, of course. So mm-hmm. 
Eli and Malik. Um, who else? I'll say Devlin, Devlin Macabre. She's a really good friend of mine. And, uh, you know, you have to be a little careful with that, with your career and friends. That's a hard thing. I mean, I have a lot of acquaintances and, uh, I think maybe with my upbringing and some of the things I've been through, my trust is a little on edge. But in wrestling, mm -hmm. you know, in any career, I think you have to be like that. You have to be kind of, I, you know, I like you, but, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. Oh, I will. No, I forgot to mention now, Ariana Grace, Bianca, Sophia, mm -hmm. she's always been a great friend to me. I love her. <laughs> What's the craziest thing a fan has ever said or done towards you? They've asked for some pretty weird things, but uh, uh -oh. yeah, I feel like just like some of the things they may ask for uh, in my DMs, I think those are the the weirdest things. I've never had anything too, too crazy yet. Hopefully, I mean, it comes with it, but yeah. What's your biggest phobia? It's so weird, but veins, wrists, like, uh, I don't, I hate needles. I hate, like, anything to do with veins or, oh. yeah, stuff like that, like getting blood drawn. Yeah. I don't hate all that. What's a bad habit you have that you want to break? Uh, food. I love to eat. I can work out all day. I will work out my hardest, but I will go to Chick-fil-A right after. <laughs> like, I have a bad habit of, I just love food, and I love unhealthy food. All right, and the last question is, let me see. What's the best advice you got from someone in the wrestling business? Oh, you know what? Norman Smiley, he told me <laughs> to, uh, you know, he said, we were talking about wrestling, and he said, um, your style of wrestling is important because he said, you know, if you put a mask on, you know, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, or, you know, someone like that, you could still know who they were mm -hmm. just by the way they wrestle. And that really stuck with me. I can't say that I've completely figured it out yet, but that advice really did stick with me and it's something that I'm aiming to work on so okay. I think that was good advice well that was 21 questions I appreciate you for answering those for me mm -hmm. so we're going to play a little game now now I asked you what you know what are you an expert in and your answer was Disney movies <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I'm going to put it to the test but I I saw a video, I think it was a few days ago that you posted, where I think you were you were in the gym and you were kind of singing a little bit while you were working out. You know, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. Oh yeah. Listen, I do my research. I watch things. Since I see you like to sing. Oh no. <laughs> no no no. You like to sing. I saw it. Since you like to sing, and you like Disney. We're just going to play a little game where I'm going to tell you the name of a Disney song and you tell me what movie it is. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Now you don't have to say. Do oh, thank All right. God. <laughs> All right, so the first one is Part of That World. What little Mermaid. It? Okay. Second is Can You Feel the Love Tonight? Lion King. The third is Go the Distance. Go the Distance. I don't know that one. That's Hercules. Hercules. Okay, I didn't watch that one. What? Okay. Right, I know. But yeah, I did that. <laughs> Number four is Almost There. Oh, that's my favorite song. I'm almost there. Oh, oh there you want to sing. in the frog. All right. <laughs> Number five is Remember Me. Coco. Okay. Yeah, that's my book. Um, Six is Reflection. And Milan. Mm -hmm. Number seven is How Far I'll Go. Moana, I love that movie. <laughs> um, number eight is You'll Be in My Heart. 
You be in my heart. I don't know that one. You skipped this one too. This was Tarzan. Tarzan. Oh, okay, I watched it, but I don't really recall. Okay. Number nine was Colors of the Wind. Pocahontas. That's my favorite song. One of them. And number 10 is I See the Light. I See the Light. I don't like that one either. That's Tangled. Tangled. Oh, I've watched that plenty of times, too. Well, no. I don't know why. I said the same thing when I was looking up the questions. I'm like, I've seen this movie. I don't remember that song, but yeah, that's thing. So we got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. You got a 70 right now, but we're going to make it all better. Okay. Because I'm going to give you a 30-point question because it's my show and I make up the numbers. So 30-point question. Okay? If mm -hmm. you can ask a bonus question, what's the first and only Disney song to ever win a Grammy for best song? Oh, hold on, don't answer yet. You know, let's think about this for a minute, okay? It won a Grammy. It was obviously a huge song, okay? This Grammy, I'm going to give you a time frame on it. This Grammy was won 25 years ago. So, you know, that's the 90s. Yeah. You know, and, and you know, it was, it was made in a time that, you know, things were simple back in the 90s. Right now, it's a, you know, it's a whole new world. Wait, yeah, a whole new world? <laughs> yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a whole new, see, now we're in a whole new world, so, yeah. Right, okay, okay, yeah. I'm trying to that cheat, is. not helping me. Okay, so, <laughs> 30 points. Yay! Got a very tainted 100%, but we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> you did good, that was awesome. Well, this is the time where I just let the guests kind of do their thing. You got anything coming up? You got anything you want to promote? Yeah, uh, District Atlanta coming up. I want to say November 27th. Don't quote me on that. But <laughs> District Atlanta. Um, and then I got some things coming up north. I got a lot coming up north. A lot in New York. So, yeah, a lot of that. And then next year, there is a lot coming up as well. I'm not going to speak too much on it just because I don't know the details yet. But uh, let's say the dream's going international at some point. <laughs> All right. So we're looking forward to it. And, uh, yeah, we just know you're going to keep doing your thing and you're just going to keep, you know, building your empire. So yes. I'm definitely looking forward to seeing it. And, uh, you know, wish you the best. And, Hopefully, we'll chat again soon. We got, some, like I told you earlier, we got some things coming up that we'll talk about. And, you know, hopefully, we'll be able to give the people what they want. And that's more Kaya Dream. Yes, always. <laughs> well, I appreciate you. And you have a great day. You too. Thank you. All right. You're welcome.